Massive storm made landfall along the Gulf Coast earlier today, but it's not taking nearly as many lives on the U.S. mainland as it did earlier in the Caribbean. Good evening, I'm Clay Thomas. Lori is on assignment. Hurricane George has now become Tropical Storm George. Late last week, when most people were evacuating to get away from the hurricane, our chief meteorologist, Matt Hinken, was getting as close to it as humanly possible. He and photojournalist Tim Vashels brought home some amazing and exclusive pictures for all of us to see. Matt? Hurricane George was a Category 4 strength just a few days ago, and with Category 5 being the strongest of all hurricanes, it was something to be dealt with. And why would I want to fly into the eye of this monster with the hurricane hunters? Well, to fulfill a lifelong dream. The reality of flying through a hurricane hits home as I sit in on the pre-flight briefing with the U.S. Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunters. Signing on the dotted line means this is truly my idea and my responsibility, no matter what happens. All the forms complete, time to head out. The pre-flight briefing is done, the weather forecast is in, and the safety check is done as well. Now it's time to go hunt for George. The modified C-130 aircraft is designed for just this kind of mission. The hurricane hunters have flown tropical storm reconnaissance for more than 50 years. About 11 miles to turn down. Okay, thanks. Heading's going to be about 025. The two-hour flight to George is smooth. The closer to the eye we get, the rougher the ride until we finally break through into the eye of the storm for the very first time. It's different flying from airline flying and airline flying, you should try to stay away from the storms. Whereas with the hurricane hunters, we actually get to go into the eye, so it's a lot of fun. But it's also a lot of valuable information, try to keep people out of harm's way. And that's really why I do it, just to help out, the, uh, help out people on the ground. The crew constantly collects data on the strongest hurricane of the season, transmitting the data to the National Hurricane Center for analysis and forecasting. The mission lasts 10 hours, covered 2,400 miles, crossing through the eye of George six times before landing safely as the next hurricane hunters entered the storm. Do you not get nervous doing this? No, I don't get nervous. Like I said, I've been doing it for 10 years. I think the people that should be nervous are the people on the ground. Now, the flight was a bit bumpy, and that's why I was supplied with my own motion sickness bags. <laughs> mine remained empty, but a colleague of mine aboard the plane wasn't so lucky. Tomorrow at 6, I'll show you how the hurricane hunters collect data using a device called a drop sound, Clay.